We now return to Let's Play XCOM Enemy Unknown. I think I've decided I'm going to go for the satellite. If I go for the satellite, satellite uplink and put it in Nigeria, I will get plus one engineers per month. As it is, I'm going to get two after the next month, which is good, because then I can start working on other projects. Argentina, Brazil, I mean, South America is the easiest to lose just because there's only the two of them, and Argentina's already at medium-level panic. But having that plus-one engineer, I think, will really help out. Um, we're very close, very close now to the council mission. Or the council report, rather. So... Commander, we have an incoming transmission from the council. Yeah, we're totally not ready for this. We have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe. Asian... I could get a new assault, and I do need a new assault. But, well, I'm going to put down one satellite, but that's only going to be in, what is that, South Africa, was it? Or no. No, it was in... See, if I ignore Africa... Let me, let me go look at this real quick. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum if I ignore capacity. Africa, Nigeria is going up. Required. South America is not a problem. Two hundred dollars right now would be definitely nice, but North America is also not an issue. Russia is an issue, and that was in Russia, right? That was actually within Russia. I don't really need panic to go down in Europe, or Eurasia, rather. Um, but we risk losing Russia. It's not in Nigeria, right? The mission was in Egypt. I mean, panic would go up everywhere. I remember when all we heard about were flying saucers. So the aliens certainly have come a long way. Take take down Russia. Push panic in Europe all the way down. Put my satellite in Nigeria. Getting my plus one engineer. I imagine Nigeria will go up to four. If it goes up to five, well, let's hope that doesn't happen. It wasn't in Russia. It was in Japan. Japan is not a problem, right? Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. I could let it happen in Japan. So should we just go for go for Africa then? Because I mean that's four scientists. Stop giving me freaking scientists. Yeah, we can just let that pass, although, like I said, the 200 would help out immensely. 200 would allow me not only to... I could build my satellites and have enough money to start getting the, um... Like the weaponry and the armor and stuff. I could speed that along. Egypt, I mean, Africa is not terrible... It would reduce all panic within Africa, though, right? That would help out a lot. I really need another assault. Man, this shit is tough. <laughs> Why? Why does it do that? Am I willing to run the risk? I guess if I let it build up in Africa, the next time there's something in Africa, we definitely choose that one. Even though there's no real problem in North America, this could get me forward faster than the others. I could spend that money immediately on things. I mean, for one thing, I could go into buying facilities. What is the uh, workshop? 
workshop. 7% refund on resources when building vehicles, projects, and facilities. Which means I would need a lot less. Building one workshop would be beneficial to me. Um, a foundry does what now? Oh, right. Foundry is also an important thing. Um, this is something I have to actually seriously sit and think about. We will not have the engineers. Um, after I do the, the, s the satellite uplink thing, I will have the engineer. Right? No. I won't get it this turn. Uh, I am getting two engineers from the Asian satellite, however, so... Yes. I will have the money to build... One of those... I mean, basically everything. Because we're looking at 50... Say, I mean, yes, I could build one of each laser thing. Um and even some carapace armor with the leftovers. That would allow me to get the the battleship assault out of the way. I'm just really running the risk on Africa. All right, let's do it. Hugo, we're going to be taking the A-team, um, although I might want to get her in there. I do kind of want another... Never mind. Never mind. Um, you have this. Okay, you got your scope. Should I give you the arc thrower? No. Uh, you can have... You know what? Oh, wait a minute. You've got the one with the double grenades. So, yes, you get that. Okay. One of each. What comes next? Another sniper? Or should we go for some long range? Should I go for another heavy? Rockets might become important in this thing. Um, I could bring along... Nah, he's wounded. Should we bring along a rookie? Uh, man. Last time we did that on a terror mission. I don't think it was good. So, my choice here is support or a second sniper. This is the sniper who can move and set up. The support, though, gives me another rifle. But she doesn't have anything. I mean, as a support, she does not have... I put her at great risk by doing that. Because I don't have the med kit. And I could spend the money on the med kit, but the more money I spend on stuff like that, the harder it's going to be otherwise. I do not necessarily want to bring her along, and I've only got an arc thrower anyway. Who is sitting on... Hold on. Hold on. Who is sitting on my... Take one away from you. Okay. Um, gee, many Christmas. I just want you to see some action. This is another opportunity to go uh, capturing some people. I could give Hugo the arc thrower. He's already a captain. He's probably got enough health that I don't necessarily need this. And collecting some of those plasma rifles right now might be useful. Then again, if we find ourselves just stuck with a bunch of chrysalids... Oh, that's something else to consider, too. They might be chrysalids. If they are chrysalids, then uh, I need more rockets. Maybe Guo should stay back and I should use... My third heavy. Who is my third heavy? I don't have a heavy. They're both wounded. Damn it! Okay. Man. I'm very scatterbrained this episode, but uh, 
I think I know what I want. With the exception of the arc thrower. I'm still on the fence about bringing that and trying to use this to, uh, to milk that. I think in this instance, though, we're going to be more concerned with killing things in a timely fashion. So she's only good for setting up smoke grenades, and I believe she only has the one. Hopefully she can pick off a few kills and become sergeant. Doesn't send a support with a med kit. It's okay though, we just gotta keep uh, keep Abel alive. We're going to be putting down in Mexico for this mission. Picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So we don't have to keep civilians alive? I suppose that would have been the very difficult mission, right? This is Big Sky. Strike team has reached the AO. Requesting authorization okay. to deploy. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one is cleared to engage. We're gonna do the overwatching stuff. I'm gonna have Guile back here, and he is going to engage in Overwatch all the time, every time. This is will this will be his uh his sniper post. This might be too far. I just saw somebody. Who did you see? There they are. All they gotta do is move. And they will see me. Standing next to a gas pump is probably not the good choice for cover, to be honest. That's gonna get her killed. Oh wow, there were some right there. Nice shot. We're forcing them back. Into the other two, I imagine. What was that sound? Okay, does the map actually extend over here? Am I going to have to worry about that? Standing next to cars is also not a good thing. This is a very, very precarious map, actually. I've got a visual. It's only sectoids, huh? Okay. Well, I'm okay with this. We can actually probably get some good kills off on this. 1% chance. Nope. I'm tempted to get you over here instead and make them move out on me. They could actually move through that door. In fact, if I had been sneakier about this, I could have probably snuck through that door itself to get to them. Um, we'll just put you on overwatch, I guess. Although I imagine he's going to get shot from there, so let's actually not do that and get you into full cover instead. Putting my support out there. <laughs> Let's be smarter about this. Not a problem anymore. No. And if this is all there is, I'm not sure why this was saying it's difficult. There's got to be more over in this building, right? It's the sectoids out here, and then there's going to be like mutons on the roof or something. Well, I, I know there's two over there, so I don't. This would be a good place to kind of hang out. He says as the car blows up next turn. Damn it. Well, that's what happens when you try and shoot through a brick frickin' wall. I know I was said I was going to have him stay here. He does have squad sight. Does that 
does that gel with that? There's that pillar in his way. Getting the hell out of there now. Dashing would get you somewhere, probably not anywhere good. I mean, just moving over there, but then what could you do? Flush, running gun? I could running gun. Get right. I'll get right here and fire. See if I can't have you hop in here. <laughs> Could you seriously jump in there? Now that guy might have uh, Overwatch on me though. See, this is no good. This is a very vulnerable position knowing that there's still two over here. But I think the option here might be to have you run and gun and just fire and hope for the best. Of course, this probably leaves me flanked for that, because people can see through doors. Oh man, the temptation to do a two for one, but if I miss? No longer a threat. How are you on the health? You're doing just fine on the health. Um, as far as you... Again, I don't really want you to be right there. That's good cover this way, but not for here. Can I get you through the back door? Can't see him. Smoke grenade. Maybe smoke grenade right here? There's no way I can see that though, right? No, of course not, idiot. <laughs> um, let's do overwatch. Now as far as you are concerned... I could get you right in that wall. Dashing again. I do that. Oh. Kinda need this. 78% chance. Make this happen. Let's let's actually save that. Okay. Nice shot. Okay. So I know there are some more over here. I'm just going to have you wait a turn. Okay. Now, how do I get over there? Ah, from there. Okay. So you'd be dashing there. Nice shot! He took out the... Wow. Now we got, uh, now we got a party floater over here. He took... <laughs> That's incredible. Um... Hello? I don't know why the camera got stuck over there. Yeah, he, f he flew right through the window. Shot his little booster. Slammed him right into the window. I know there's more sectoids. Unless they are the ones who came through here and then came into there, there have got to be more. And maybe it would be beneficial to actually have you reload before you get up here and make a fool of yourself. Because I'd actually probably be better to have you in there to fire on that guy. 
But reloading, you're not going to be able to do that. You know what? Just get in there anyway. Okay. You can't see. And you are vulnerable. Okay, I don't see anything out here. That must have been those two sectoids then. They just went back around. That was almost dumb. Okay, you're in some trouble. Well, he can heal himself, though. So I think that's what he'll be doing. Is that a one round thing? Like, that's all I get as a choice? I don't know, six damage though, that's... Any more shots and he's gone. That is not good there. I should have used something else. Can we actually hit from here? No. It lied to me. Okay, I'm gonna take out... Now wait a minute, this does how much? Four damage? Which would be enough. I'm actually gonna take out the cover here though. How, how did you miss a wall, exactly? I don't know why it's telling me there's 56% chance when there's not. Now we have a little bit of an issue here. This is the one closest to me. Let's go for the 100%. That could made could have made him flanked though which is a bit of a problem. So, smoke grenade to where? Here, maybe? Just like right in the wall? Or, or to here? And protect you. Because you... I think you need it more. Too bad I can't get it like right in there. Overwatch probably would have been more beneficial. Nice work. Out of rounds. Okay. Jean... What? That's not Jean-Pierre. This. D no! What did the hell did I just have you do? I thought it was only right-clicking that made you move. Well, now you've got a... And he's on Overwatch, too. How did that not trigger Overwatch? That is... That is, uh... Wow. Okay, somebody has got to go in there. My assault is the only one with the lightning reflexes who could trigger his overwatch. To get him out of there safely. Because if I move him... I'm going to have to do this the other way, aren't I? Could I get out and come around the back? Could. At least he's up against a wall. That's all that's really important. Damn it. Missed the target. 
Yes, you did. He's on Overwatch. We'll stay on Overwatch. You reload. Excellent work. All okay. of complete. Not quite how I'd wanted that to go down. So let's look at the aftermath of this. Yay, Sergeant. So, smoke and mirrors. I was kind of having her go down as this one, right? I think this is definitely more beneficial. Always will be. Dense smoke. Smoke grenades now contain stimulants. Well, for all units, all my units, or all units on the board? I think this seems a little bit more effective. And it would probably incentivize me to use it more. Okay, we're gonna have to put that money to good use. Touch, Commander. Let me, can I look easily? There we go. Okay, yes. Issues. Issues right here. But, at least now I know where I want to put my satellites. So that will hopefully help a little bit. But, we did it for the money. Yeah, the money. Okay, I'll end this one here. I'll see you next time.